One of Roy's folks is proof that art is in all of us. We just have to look for it. And Fox 8's Chad Tucker introduces us to a folk artist, Jerry Spivey, and his lifetime of work. It's just in the rough. And all of this is in the rough. Jerry Spivey has spent a lifetime finding art in the rough. It'll be a pretty valuable stick when I get through because it's going to have artwork from the tip to the top. Born before the Depression and with no formal training. If you make a mistake, you can uh, usually carve your way out of it. The self-taught folk artist has made a name for himself in the details. This is going to be a football and a baseball and then the fidget stick on the bottom. His work takes an enormous amount of time. <laughs> patience is Job. <laughs> and that patience has created a number of carvings. This is a version of the same thing. It's got a football, yes. got some dice. And paintings. I found out I was a fairly good painter. That you'll often find on display. I've been accused of being a perfectionist, yes I have. It's a good quality to have though. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Many of his paintings instill the places of his youth. From a family service station to the mills, churches, and covered bridges of Randolph County. This is a double whammy. Get a get you up with a pecan shell. He doesn't know where his talent came from, but now in his 90s, he's not slowing down. I, I just keep doing what I've always done, and uh, and if people likes it, fine. If they don't, that's still fine. I got satisfaction out of doing it. In High Point. Looking for Roy's folks. Just born to do it, and I do it. Chad Tucker, Fox A News. You have to find out what it is and do it yourself. And Spivey is also known for his sculptures and his impressive hat collection.